All right, guys, an article about the signs of the times. We got a $20,000 tiny home on Amazon goes viral as buyer test viable option for priced out masses. As you know, man, mortgage rates are high. People are not buying. And it's not really the rates. It's the cost of the house. People are all focused on the mortgage rates, but it is actual the, co the actual cost of the house is what people should be focusing on. The uh, housing prices are just still way, way above the uh, reach of most normal Americans. Uh, it's crazy. So I don't know. People have been programmed to focus on mortgage rates. And uh, I don't know. This is why these types of articles are popping up and people are selling tiny homes on Amazon. Let's go through this real quick, short and sweet. But uh, it's not a novelty anymore, folks. It's getting scary out there. I don't know if they're driving this economy into the ground on purpose. You just don't know anymore. Uh, it's a club and we ain't in it, right? So let's jump into this. A viral video may highlight a viable option for the millions of Americans who cannot afford to buy a home. All right, let's see. Nathan Graham, he went, his video went viral after he purchased a tiny home on Amazon that sells for as little as 20000 and I think I, watching the video, he spent more than that. So I don't know why they put 20000 They should have been up front and said, I think he spent like 30 something. Anyway, but where are you going to put this thing? You got to pay for the land, right? Oh, well, let's go on. And you'll probably be taxed really extensively by your government, your local government. They want their property tax. Anyway, let's go to the video, which has surpassed 32 million views on TikTok. TikTok is a uh, stay off TikTok, guys. I don't know. I, I, I kind of re I'm kind of hesitant. And showing anything from TikTok since it is a China controlled, it's a PSYOP application to control our culture. You just gotta watch TikTok, it's bad. Anyway, TikTok shows a seemingly surprised and impressed Graham unboxing the foldable home. Cool. The unit comes with a kitchen, a shower, a toilet, and all the necessary plumbing, but all the electrical wiring still needs to be done by a professional. That doesn't make sense. I think the box is wired already. It just needs to be hooked up to an external source, as does the plumbing to an external septic system, uh, whether it's city or a septic field. Uh, same with the power. That, so that's kind of, again, they're kind of just getting lazy with the writing. Uh, let's see. Oh, Newsweek, are they still even around? What a joke. All right, anyway. They say some experts believe tiny homes, often referred to as accessory dwelling units, ADU, <laughs> how stupid, offer a viable solution that could ease some of the pain in America's housing market. This is sad, guys. This is, this is what we've come to. And uh, George Carlin was so right. Watch his old stand-ups. You know, it's an American dream, and they call it that because you have to be asleep to believe it. It's over, guys. The American dream is completely over. Uh, everyone now, I mean, it's tough to pay for things today. I don't eat out anymore. I don't, I don't drink when I go out. It's just too much money. You got to save everything. Uh, yeah, even then you're still going to be behind. It's just so bad. Anyway, let's go watch this little guy in his little video. Uh, let's see. I bought a house. There we go. There's this little happy camper. Uh, bear with me. It's only a minute and 37 seconds and hopefully this plays go you can buy anything on amazon but did you know that you could buy a house and the house just arrived let it fall oh freaking way i think that i i don't know come on i'm calling bs i think that was staged they're not gonna ship that thing in some cheap Amazon boxes like that. Do you see this? this? So this might be all a stunt, obviously, just for the clicks, the lulls, the uh, do uh, dopamine hits. So I don't know, man. TikTok. I told you. I warned you about TikTok. Wait, yo, it's legit. It's like a rectangle. It's kind of small. Yo. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's loud in here. It's pretty much. All right, that guy alone. I am so sorry. I apologize for him being in existence. What's the point of windows? Can't even see what do the windows do? Oh, there's a whole bathroom in a shower. Wait, there's a shower? In a toilet. Bro, you can poop and shower at the same time. That's Dang. crazy. All right, that guy, would you want to be in the military with him? No. Dude, this is kind of nice. It's just like kind of small. What's up with all this? Wait a second, wait a second. Is this like half built? Like It folds. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's cool. That's what my laptop does. Yo, the entire house has to fold out. Kind of like a puzzle.
That's a whole wall. I've never folded a house together. Hey, let me in. You're gonna kick me out already? Come on, man. Wow, it's already so much bigger. Bro, this thing is so easy to build. You literally just unfold it. Wait, 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 wait. There was like 10 guys helping him unfold it. This is, what the heck are we watching? That's it? That's it. That's wild. It didn't come with instructions and we built it. Dude, five star review. First of all, what's it sitting on? It looks like artificial turf. This is so staged. We just built a house from Amazon. I was kind of worried that we were gonna get scammed buying this thing because it had zero reviews. Are we the only person that has actually bought this off Amazon? They even tape the keys to the house to the door handle. It works! So now I don't know, this guy, is, is this a guy in today's society? He just seems very special. Not only did we buy a house on Amazon, we bought everything you could possibly need to live. All right, all right. I'm sorry about that video. TikTok is horrible, guys. But there you go. You want to go buy a stupid tiny house on uh, Amazon. And again, you got to think about the whole infrastructure and all this stuff. You got to get this thing delivered. How do you get this thing delivered? It's not going to come wrapped in a stupid wrapping like they had on a Amazon boxes, you know, uh, scotch tape together. That, that was a joke. It's going to come on a freighter. You know, they got to organize all that shipping. You got to make sure you have a place for it. The, uh, the, the spot has to be level, has to be graded. You probably have city, county codes that pretty much restrict any, any development at all in, in your area because the government hates people. They just want to take all their money and uh, basically waste it away. Uh, that's, yeah, you vote for these people. That's what you live with. Yeah, you got to have the site prepared. You got to have uh, the electrician come out, hook up to maybe you have a generator or solar, or maybe you're on city power. You have to have a hookup service, right? And you have to have septics and or city sewer hookup on that puppy and they're going to get you some way i don't know what it's classified as is it an rv is there wheels on it or is it a house you're going to be uh, taxed accordingly it's uh, they don't go into all these little details i don't know you just i see this crap and it's all for stunts but it's a cute little article it is a sign of the times and uh, if you look at your property taxes and your homeowner's insurance everything is going up folks especially your car insurance why well for car insurance uh, blame it on EVs. EVs are causing more damage. There are heavier vehicles. The fires do never never go out. They call thermal runaways. It uh, takes more and more water than uh, like forty percent more water to put out an EV. But then again, it reignites once they tow it to the junkyard, and they have to separate those cars by fifty feet because they will spontaneously recombust and have another thermal runaway with the lithium ion cells. It's out there. They don't cover it much on the news, but it's bad. And uh, yeah, EV, and you're also paying for all the illegal immigrants coming in who don't have insurance and people don't have insurance. You gotta, you're the good person who pays their bills on time, who's never had an accident or a claim. Guess what? They're gonna come after you and squeeze every dollar you can out of you. So it's just a sign of time. Look around, read the, read the articles. They don't put it on mainstream media for a reason because they don't want you to know how bad things are. Uh, that's why they call it programming. They're programming you. Just don't watch mainstream cable, network news. Whoever watches network news is, I don't know what's wrong with you. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> anyway, there you go. Are you going to go buy a little container on Amazon and have it delivered somewhere and then have this huge headache? I don't know, man. It was a cute video for what it is, and they got their likes. His little friend annoyed the crap out of me. That alone, I would not buy one. So what's going on in this world, man? All right, go forth. Go buy your Amazon little tiny home, and uh, yeah, enjoy your life. America dream, it's over.